始め俺と同じ場所に立つんじゃない Fantasy plus overpowered main character. Now that's a winning combination. And no matter the year, there will always be a handful of fantasy anime for the ever thirsty audience. So throw the reality out your window and let's get hyped because we're ranking some fantasy anime with an overpowered protagonist. Let's go. Number 10 Ningen Fushin. <laughs> Have you ever felt that the world was unfair to you? As though everyone has turned against you for no apparent reason, or as if you've been misunderstood for nothing? Of course, we've all felt this, and it stinks that we can't do anything about it. So, our protagonist Nick is having the same issues here. He gets kicked out of his party, his girlfriend dumps him, and his teammates accuse him of stealing. Now, that is some emotional damage. So, our tired and heartbroken Nick brings together three adventurers who have been ejected from their positions and decide to band together and save the world. Yeah, what do you expect? Revenge? <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, it's a hit or miss type of anime that depends entirely on your preferences. So, unless you're like me, who loves every anime, I'd recommend watching some episodes and deciding for yourself. I mean, it has a decent premise and engaging characters, so let's hope it can drag it to success. Number 9 The Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World. <laughs> right. Mr. White. So this 20 foot long title is yet another entry in the black haired kid goes to magic school and secretly has a very strong skill subgenre. Unironically, a lengthy name for a subgenre for an anime with an already lengthy name. And it follows Ray, who let's just say is a little overpowered. We follow him as he leaves his life as the strongest ice blade sorcerer to enter the magic academy and try to live a normal life. Or is it anything else? Watch it and decide for yourself. So, here we go again. Another wannabe normal person anime. Come on, man, just go kick some ass and get yourself a girl. <clears throat> okay, so far, this is a good watch. The main character isn't a weakling whose skills take 100 episodes to develop, which is lovely. I agree that episodes are a little slow paced and can feel a bit cliche with the MC hiding his powers, but hey, we all love these types of shows, and did I mention that there's a chance we'll get a harem? Not guilty. Number 8 Beast Tamer. Imagine you're a member of a powerful hero party, and one day they simply discard you. Sucks, right? Well, that's exactly what happens to our protagonist, Rain. So, this unfortunate man, who happens to be a beast tamer, is thrown out of the hero's party. But our Rain is no crybaby because he manages to tame girls from a cat tribe, fairies, and dragons, granting him power far beyond anyone's dreams. Talk about a Sigma and his harem candidates. Okay, I agree that the show moves too quickly. After all, a lot of information must be conveyed to the viewer in a short period of time. But it never feels out of place, which is a huge accomplishment in my eyes. I know, I know, harem with no etchy tag is boring for us simps, but that's okay. Every now and then, we need to put on a blindfold, get some popcorn, and enjoy the pure harem. Number 7. I'm quitting heroing. Okay, here is a fun question for you. What if a hero decided to stop protecting those he once did and decided to join the ranks of the enemy? Well, that would make a fantastic scenario, and this is exactly where this anime revolves around. Now, let's talk about the plot. In a distant fantasy land, a hero decides to quit the hero role and join his enemies. The end. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. No kidding, that's, that's the entire plot. Okay, jokes apart, this type of concept is becoming increasingly rare these days. On the other hand, if you're looking for some action and revenge anime, this is totally not for you. It's just a fantasy slice of life about two old foes working together to rebuild their dying kingdom. While you may forget the names or events of this anime several seasons later, there will always be a lingering likability that makes the anime easy to recommend for anyone looking for a fast yet delightful fantasy. Number 6 Kuma 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 Bear.
Okay, so this is a comedy fantasy series about a girl who finds herself trapped in another world. Interesting? Well, yeah, but as always, there has to be a twist to distinguish this generic isekai from the rest. This time, the protagonist wears a bear outfit, and all of her abilities are bear-based, and that's freaking adorable. So the anime follows Yuna, who finds herself transported into the world of her favorite video game. Her level, on the other hand, has been reduced to one, and all she has is a bear outfit, which, let's just say, gives her some overpowered abilities. Yeah. I know, I know, there isn't much of a tale to begin with, but we do see a girl having fun in her fantasy world while costumed as a bear. See, I'm a person who loves the simple things in life, and I don't feel that every anime needs to be a masterpiece. If you're entertained, the goal's been achieved. Number 5. Dragon Quest <laughs> Hey, uh, Goku! Is that you? What happened to you, man? Are we, are we in Dragon Ball GT? <laughs> I know you're all wondering the same things I am, but let me tell you. This is a different fantasy about Dai, who grows up on a monster-infested island. One day, Dai begins to train under a famous teacher, but he has no idea how quickly he'll have to put his training to the test. Okay, now that's aside, where are our goddesses, Bulma and... <laughs> Sorry, I was... That was bad. Anyway, the first thing I have to say about the series is that don't anticipate anything profound, violent, or dark. It's very much a brave hero and his companions embark on a lengthy journey together type of story, which is, let's say, enjoyable at times. This is an anime for individuals who appreciate a basic plot as well as a show with predictable structure. So, if you like these elements, why not give it a shot? Fun little factoid of the day for you, if you notice any similarities in character design between Dragon Quest and Dragon Ball, that's because Akira Toriyama is the character design design lead for both of them. He also was the lead character design on Chrono Trigger. If you're a boomer, you know that game. If not, well, look it up. It's a classic. Um, you guys don't have to keep that in if you don't want. I just, I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, okay? Number four, a certain scientific accelerator. <laughs> Talking about overpowered characters, how could we forget this powerful esper? Okay, so this anime is about a dude, he has powers, and he's known as the Accelerator. The espers of Academy City are classified into six levels. Level zero lacks any power at all, and level five is freaky awesome. Our protagonist, well, he's level six, so you can imagine what kind of terrifying powers he holds. However, now he's living a peaceful life and trying to recover from his past injuries. Ha! Peaceful life! As if that's ever gonna happen. <coughs> Accelerator, like fellow Index side story, A Certain Scientific Railgun, focuses on the dark side of Academy City, perhaps even more so than Railgun. So, people looking for dark shows will undoubtedly enjoy this anime. Overall, this is an excellent addition to the franchise, and I strongly advise you to give it a shot. Number 3. High Card. This winter season has been nothing short of a gift that keeps on giving for anime fans thus far. However, with so many big name titles all coming out at once, it becomes much easier for some shows to fall through the cracks. This anime is one of those slippery ones, and it follows Finn, who was living freely on the streets. He sets out to a casino to make a fortune, but encounters a car chase and bloody shootout caused by a powerful set of X playing cards that bestow superhuman powers. So what does he do next? He joins a secret group called High Card, which goes on a dangerous mission to find scattered cards. Card capture Sakura? Well, yeah. Ah! So the action is smooth and full of energy, and it works well with this upbeat soundtrack to keep the supernatural crime thriller moving. Have you ever wished for more explosions and bloodshed in Card Capture Sakura? Then you should watch this anime. Number 2. Huzuki Reitetsu <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it would be like to work in hell? Don't worry, because this anime here has all the answers. Okay, so the plot is simple, it revolves around Hozuki, a demon ogre who works for the king of Japanese hell, and handles every scenario like it's nothing. I mean, you'll get it when you watch it. See what I did there? <clears throat> now, as you can all guess, it's a comedy anime, and it's no secret that I enjoy the comedy genre. But in contrast to a comedy like Jintama, Hozuki's humor is more low-key and dry. Like, uh, imagine if The Office was set in hell. 
No! I'm so bad at getting analogies. <clears throat> also, for the cuteness lovers, the show also has a lot of talking animals that are cute enough to keep you watching for hours. So there's always something to gain from this show, no matter what state it's in. Number one, reborn to master the blade. Okay, I'm sure you're surprised to see this anime at the top, and to be honest, even I am. I've never been a fan of a series about being reincarnated for a fresh start, until I saw this. Still don't believe me? Well, let's change your mind. Starting with the plot. So, this is a story of hero king Inglises, who gets reincarnated to a noble family as a girl. Yeah, it's a gender bender anime, and let me tell you, she's completely broken. In the first episode, she literally kills a freaking dragon as a baby. Poor dragon, getting his ass whooped by a newborn baby. <laughs> yeah, it falls into the category of overpowered hero does overpowered things, but that doesn't make it any less satisfying. I mean, give this kid some credit. Killing a dragon is no easy task. This gender bender trend may appear strange at best, but it's done well, and I'm sure the interest will only grow. Still not convinced? Why not give it a shot? So there you have it. Some new as well as some underrated fantasy shows having the overpowered main character. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like to show your support and smash that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. That is it for today, my fellow weebs, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. I don't wanna fall in love.